Okay, so we're continuing our conversation on the Mayan ancient texts uh, of their creation called the Popol Vuh. So it's like their Bible. Uh, there's still Mayan people today in Mexico, but they are slowly uh, not existing anymore. You have been called upon because of our work, our design. Run your hands over the kernels of corn, over the seeds of the coral tree. Just get it done. Just let it come out whether we should carve and gouge a mouth. A face in wood, they told the day keepers. And then comes the borrowing, the counting of days. The hand is moved over the corn kernels, over the coral seeds, the days, the lots. Then they spoke to them, one of them a grandmother, the other a grandfather. This is the grandfather, this is the master of the coral seeds, Shipiakok is his name. And this is the grandmother, the day keeper, diviner who stands behind others, Shumukain is her name. And they said, as they set out the days, hold on, I want to. Yeah, it's very important to annotate so we can keep track of their names. Just let it be found. Just let it be discovered. Say it. Our ear is listening. May you talk. May you speak. Just find the wood for the carving and sculpting by the builder, sculptor. It is this to be the provider, the nurturer, when it comes to the planting, the dawning. You corn kernels, you coral seeds, you days, you lots. May you succeed. May you be accurate. They said to the corn kernels, coral seeds, days, lots, have shame, you up there, heart of sky. Attempt no deception before the mouth and face of sovereign plume serpent, they said. Then they spoke straight to the point. It is well that there be your mannequins, wood carvings, talking, speaking, there on the face of the earth. So be it, they replied. The moment they spoke, it was done. The mannequins, wood carvings, human in looks and human in speech. This was the peopling of the face of the earth. They came into being. They multiplied. They had daughters. They had sons. These mannequins, wood carvings. But there was nothing in their hearts and nothing in their minds. No memory of their mason and builder. Oh, wait a minute. So... These mannequins, wood carvings, and there was no... So they created these... So like mannequins, wood carvings, so like these little beings that they made. Uh, but they didn't have a memory of their mason builder, so they didn't have any conception of their own creation. And so... Wow, and they did not remember the heart of the sky. So if they didn't remember the heart of the sky, which was the one who created them then that is not really fulfilling their goal thus far of trying to create a species to worship them. And so they fell, just an experiment, and just a cutout for humankind. They were talking at first, but their faces were dry. They were not yet developed in the legs and arms. They had no blood, no lymph. They had no sweat, no fat. Their complexions were dry. Their faces were crusty. They flailed their legs and arms. Their bodies were deformed. Well, dang. <laughs> Imagine creating like, hey man, well, the arms aren't really working. doesn't really have blood. Uh, they don't have any fat either. Oh, and they don't remember you created them. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> that would suck so bad. <sighs> and they accomplished nothing before the maker, the modeler who gave them birth, gave them heart. They became the first numerous people here on the face of the earth. Interesting. The first numerous people here on the earth. So it's basically saying that there was a species created before humans. Again, there comes a humiliation, destruction, and demolition. The mannequins, wood carvings, were killed when the heart of the sky devised a flood for them. <gasps> There's a flood in this story! Fascinating. Because these stories of oration were passed down before um, the ancient Roman Empire, right? So this is a very, very old 
old text, and even they had a flood story. Very cool. A great flood was made. It came down on the heads of the mannequins, wood carvings. The man's body was carved from the wood of the coral tree by the maker, modeler. And as for the woman, the maker, modeler, needed the heart of bulrushes for the woman's body. So, a heart of bulrushes for the woman's body. Adam and Eve... Eve had to have a rib taken, no, Adam had to have a rib taken out to create Eve. And this is very similar, but they need another uh, a organ of another being to create woman. So cool when you read text and they were totally opposite cultures, yet they have some reminiscence of each other. Fascinating. They were not competent, nor did they speak before the builder and the sculptor who made them and brought them forth. And so they were killed, done in by a flood. There came a rain of resin from the sky. There came the one named Gauger of Faces. He gouged out their eyeballs. There came sudden blood letter. He snapped off their heads. There came crunching jaguar. He ate their flesh. There came tearing jaguar. He tore them open. Wow. Wow, so amazing. They were pounded down to the bones and tendons smashed and pulverized even to the bones their faces were smashed because they were incompetent before their mother and their father the heart of sky named hurricane the earth was blackened because of this the black rainstorm began rain all day and rain all night into their houses came the animals small and great their faces were crushed by things of wood and stone everything spoke their water jars, their tortilla griddles, their plates, their cooking pots, their dogs, their grinding stones. Each and everything crushed their faces. Their dogs and turkeys told them, You cause us pain, you ate us, but now it is you whom we shall eat. And this is the grinding stone. We were undone because of you. Every day, every day, in the dark, in the dawn, forever, rip, rip, rub rub right in our faces because of you the native americans have a story called uh, man's dependence on animals where the dog and the animals based the animal kingdom wants to rebel against humans because how humans oppress the animals and they and they complain about the pain that is inflicted by humans on them and this here in this Mayan text has a very similar story of how animals rebelled against the abuse and oppression by humans. Wow. Another connection. Wow. That is why theology is amazing to study. This was the service we gave you at first, when you were still people, but today you will learn of our power. We shall pound and we shall grind your flesh. Their grinding stones told them. So these objects have come have been granted beingness and are speaking to them. So if you don't know what a grindstone is, it's like the pestle and mortar. And I have one of those, but there's several kinds. One of marble, which is smooth, but then there's the more coarse rocky one, but you have to be kind of careful because you can get pieces in your food and then you crunch your teeth and mess your teeth up. But it's saying that like, those tools came to life and were telling them, well, we're going to grind you now. Oh, oh my goodness. It's crazy. Could you imagine? That'd be like today, that'd be like our blenders being like, hey, we're just going to blend you up. And I'd be like, no, just throw it out the window and run away. Oh, that'd be scary. Or like in the butcher shop, the meat grinder. Oh, that'd be scary because that can grind bone. Oy, oy, oy. What do you think so far, family? It's crazy Mayan text, ancient Mexico. Wow.